Good evening, Dean Buddha in his image ministries. Uh, the daily contemplation I'm reading from John uh, chapter 7, verses 37, 38 and 39 out of the Passion Version. Uh, it says, Then on the most important day of the feast, the last day, Jesus stood and shouted out to the crowds, All you thirsty, come to me. Come to me and drink. It's a very uh, common passage of scripture. Most people know it. Uh, believe in me so that rivers of living water will burst out from within you, flowing from your innermost being, just like the scripture says. The innermost being, of course, is the new creation, the new creature fashioned and formed and created in the image of its creator, Christ Jesus. Jesus was prophesying, verse 39, about the Holy Spirit. So this living water, it sources the Holy Spirit. And so Jesus was talking about the Holy Spirit coming. And as we know, that happened in Acts chapter 2. Scripture says that believers were being prepared to receive him. And it says, but the Holy Spirit had not yet been poured out. Because Jesus has not yet been revealed in his full splendor, or as the older versions would say, not yet been glorified. Now, on a personal level, most of us look at the scripture and go, well, Jesus, give me that living water. I'm thirsty and I don't have money to buy. Give me your Holy Spirit. Let rivers of, of living water flow out of me. But what I want to um, contemplate today is the fact that God wanted the world full of his Spirit. He wanted believers flowing with rivers of life-giving waters. So his intent is to fill the world with life-giving water. And so that's what Jesus is trying to say to you. Do you not realize that the God, the Father, his desire is that anyone come and drink and that the world be full of the gushing full of the life of God. And so that's what I'm contemplating, God's intent. God is not holding anything back. He's not attempting to uh, schneid us, to deny us. His intent was that all of us would see the benefit of His Holy Spirit flowing from multiple vessels filling the earth with his Holy Spirit and filling the earth with his goodness and so I leave you with that thought that you contemplate that God's will is for us to be filled all we have to do is receive his son Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit will flow into us and then be a vessel from which more and more and more of the world can be filled. What a glorious thing to contemplate.